A Sioux Falls woman with a 20-year career at the United States Postal Service is suing her employer for sexual discrimination and retaliation. Kelloland's Angela Kennedy has been going over the details in the lawsuit and looking at the USPS written policy on sexual harassment. Cindy Eckren works as a mail clerk at the USPS Processing and Distribution Center on North 4th Avenue in Sioux Falls. Eckren is accusing USPS of not following its own policies when it comes to sexual harassment and retaliating against her when she reported what she called a serial harasser at work. Cindy Eckren says in April of 2018, a male coworker repeatedly asked her for her home address so he could come to her home and massage her, and he told her that her body was driving him crazy. In court documents, Eckren says she felt disgusted, anxious, and worried about the situation because she could not entirely avoid contact with this coworker while doing her job. Eckren told a female coworker, and that coworker said he had also made unwanted advances toward her and that he had been previously accused of rape and had also harassed another female USPS employee. According to USPS's own written policy, managers and supervisors are responsible for preventing harassment and inappropriate behavior that could lead to illegal harassment and must respond promptly when they learn of such conduct. The policy also states that reprisal against employees to raise a claim of harassment or report inappropriate conduct is illegal and can result in disciplinary action. In her case, Ekron says when she reported the incident in July of 2018, it was acknowledged to her that the man had sexually harassed two other female co-workers and previously been accused of rape. Months went by and Ekron says nothing happened. Ekron says then she was disciplined for an attendance issue, the first disciplinary action against her in 18 years. That's when she says she complained to her direct supervisor that her sexual harassment complaint was being ignored. Her supervisor claimed he'd never heard of her report, but would initiate an investigation on her behalf. However, more months went by and nothing happened. Almost a year later, she says she was told her sexual harassment complaint had been delayed because of an incomplete form that had been forgotten about. Ekron claims after that, a supervisor told her that her male co-worker should have been walked out the door at the time the harassment took place, but that now it was too late to do anything about her complaint. Then in June of 2019, Ekron's supervisor told her no formal action was going to be taken against her accused harasser because there were no witnesses, and that her co-worker would be told that a sexual harassment report would be noted in his personnel file. Kelloland Investigates has learned that Ekron and the man she accused of sexually harassing her are both still employed by USPS. Court documents say USPS refused to separate them to different shifts or positions when asked because of how it could negatively affect the male co-worker. A spokesperson for USPS tells us that it is important to recognize that a complaint is merely a statement of allegations and the Postal Service has not had the opportunity to respond, but that it is committed to providing a work environment free of harassment.